weekend. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift some bread or go hungry that night. All right, guys. So I've been warning you, or at least in one video, I warned you about what is going to be the newest psyop from the mainstream liberal media in 2024, which is this idea that crime is down. Okay. Just like in 2023, the psyop was inflation's down, even though the American people <laughs> can see uh, based off how empty our wallets are. In fact, that objectively speaking, we are poor and less well off than we were when Biden took office. No, no, no. Inflation is down, they say, okay? Even though inflation has risen at a significant rate over the past two to three years. Now, the rate of inflation itself may be coming down, but we're still experiencing mass inflation in a very short amount of time. But again, if you listen to the mainstream liberal media, inflation is down, right? They're doing the exact same thing with crime because Democrats, again, this is an election year going into 2024, especially in these liberal cities, they are all struggling with the crime crisis in the post George Floyd era. An event that in my opinion is one of the worst things that ever happened to this country because after what happened to George Floyd, the war revolutionaries, the criminals became emboldened by soft on crime policies that essentially allowed them to commit these crimes and to get away with it because it is racist to lock up black people, right? We've uh, gone into full Looney Tunes world uh, following the death of George Floyd, and it's extremely sad to think about, right? But again, a result of that is that crime has increased significantly across the country, mainly in liberal cities, okay, in response to the new soft on crime uh, woke uh, progressive criminal justice reform that has taken place in these liberal cities. Uh, the defunded police movement, which has made it harder to recruit police and has caused a mass exodus from the police force. But again, you have the mainstream liberal media coming out here and claiming that crime is down just because in 2023, we saw crime fall a little bit from 2022, even though crime is significantly elevated from uh, 2019 before the pandemic started. Take a look. We're back with a reality check on crime in America. There's been a big shift from where crime levels were during the pandemic, but not in the direction you might expect. Here's Monica Alba with the FBI's surprising new report. Despite viral videos of smash-and-grab robberies in department stores Free iPhones. and scenes of chaotic theft and violence in major U.S. cities, uh -oh, uh -oh. crime for 2023 in almost every category is down. That's according to new data from the FBI that runs counter to popular perception. According to a Gallup poll, 77% of Americans believe crime in the U.S. is up compared to a year ago. But violent crime this year, according to the FBI, is down 8%. And while the agency doesn't specifically break out retail theft, property crime is down more than 6%. And murder in major American cities is down 12.7% after going up during the pandemic. We had this really big surge in 2020, 2021, and then it started to come down in 2022. Crime data analyst Jeff Asher says the numbers show every category of major crime except auto theft declined this year. What do you think explains the gap here between reality and perception? I think this is only inflamed by social media, by viral videos. Um, you know, you can get one incident, have millions of clicks because this terrible incident happened. It's a notion some Republican candidates have seized on. New York City is a crime den. Chicago is a crime den. You look at these great cities, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Murder in each of those cities is actually down. Other major cities like Philadelphia, Detroit, and Atlanta show even sharper declines. Though in some places like Washington, D.C., Memphis, and El Paso, murders this year are on the rise. Earlier this year, the Biden administration announced more than $200 million for state and local governments to hire 1,700 new police officers as it continues to combat both crime and how it's perceived. Monica Alba, NBC News. Yeah, so you see that you heard that, okay? Again, this is all a part of the PSYOP to help the Democrats win in 2024, right? That's what's happening, okay? They're telling you that 
um, it's raining when they're actually really pissing on your leg. Okay, this is the specialty of the mainstream liberal media because they don't actually really give you a relevant time frame for the so-called decrease in crime. Like, for example, let's look at the homicide rate in the United States. You can clearly see that since 2019, the homicide rate is up right even counted 2023 in which the 2023 data is estimated this number is likely to rise okay because there are probably some uh municipalities and police precincts that have not reported their uh data yet okay so again this is estimated data and it's so funny how they're already coming out here and saying this because they're trying to use uh the best case scenario for crime in 2023 to paint this picture that oh no no crime is down you don't understand but again, down since when? Because it's not down since 2019, which is before the pandemic began. As you can see here, when the pandemic began, homicide rates rose significantly, okay? And then it has started to fall, but it's still elevated since 2019, okay? And this is true in cities like, for example, New York, in which, again, uh, the media is saying that, well, you know, New York City had 386 homicides last year, uh, which is down 11.9% since 2022 but in 2019 uh new york had 319 homicides so if you're examining this from the beginning of the pandemic right or before the pandemic 2019 till today which is an accurate way to actually look at crime in america because crime rose significantly in 2020 uh during the pandemic after the george floyd incident then crime is up right murders are up and again there are some liberal cities you know like for example uh washington dc memphis uh, Dallas, where uh, murders are so elevated that they can't even spit a narrative about crime being down in those cities, right? And, and that's essentially what they're trying to do. They're spinning a narrative. But despite the spinning narrative, you can't spin the reality of what's actually happening in these liberal cities, which is a mass business exodus because of the crime, okay? When you talk about out of control shoplifting, these businesses not being able to operate due to having everything stolen, right? That's not something that, you know, you can spin your way around, right? You can't come out here and fool people with the reality of the situation going on on the ground in these cities, right? And again, this brings us to DC, okay? In which you had a group of shoplifters, okay? Some mystery shoplifters that posted a flyer outside of a vacant storefront. Again, why is the storefront vacant? <laughs> because it got robbed out of business. Um, basically calling for shoplifters to unite and to rob their local Safeway store, okay? And now, as a result, Safeway is, you guessed it, <laughs> going out of business, right? They're, they're leaving, okay? They're, they're packing up and they're leaving because they can't operate due to so much crime. But again, if you listen to the mainstream liberal media, crime is down. I don't remember before the pandemic all these stories of these stores exiting these liberal cities due to crime and not being able to operate. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. So let's get into it. Rampant shoplifting in the district, reaching a whole new level here. A flyer now posted in one neighborhood calling for shoplifters to ransack their local grocery store. Fox 5's Derek Waller with this exclusive story tonight live from Adams Morgan. So Derek, uh, what exactly does the flyer say? And Angie, that flyer is actually posted outside a vacant storefront in nearby Columbia Heights, calling on people to ransack their local Safeway and even bust the windows. Oh my goodness. And where was this exactly? Right here, posted on the window of this vacant storefront on Irving Street. Shoplifters unite, it says. Take everything that's not nailed down. Bust windows. We are not showing the rest of the flyer because we don't know who posted it. And it makes serious allegations against Safeway that we cannot verify. Let me guess. The flyer says that Safeway is racist, right? Safeway is racist and that they're complicit with white supremacy and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the local media here is, I think, complicit in helping criminals by not showing the rest of the flyer, right? I want to see what are the allegations that they're making against Safeway. But we know why they are covering it up because if you actually uh, know what the allegations are, what the rest of the flyer said, it's going to be very clear who posted it, which is probably a group of woke activists and criminals who believe that black people should rob and steal uh, from Safeways and from grocery stores uh, because they need something to eat, right? They hungry, okay? It's reparations. 
Again, this is why they're not showing the rest of it, because if you actually show the rest of the flyer, it'll tell you exactly what the political ideology is of the people that posted it. Okay, let's keep it 100. Shoplifters unite. Again, sounds communist. <laughs> right? Sounds like straight up communism. Okay? I'm so serious. But everyone we spoke with tonight had the same reaction. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's hard out here, but I don't condone it. I think it's a bunch of crap. That's what I think is a bunch. Five below next door to where that flyer is posted now closes early at five. And on January 14th, they're shutting down for good. At Target, this sign warns minors they need to be accompanied by an adult. And across the street at CVS, this security guard is now patrolling totally empty shelves I mean, it's wow wow incredible stuff so you have a a a, a five and below shutting down right leaving why because they've been robbed out of business and then you have a target that is requiring that you can't be 18 and below and come into the store without an adult why because they're being robbed out of business by who teenagers right because teenagers are also a part of the crime wave that we are experiencing in this country out of control youth because we have a parenting problem in this country right young scholars are out of control and then you have police that are essentially patrolling empty shelves literally because the criminals are stealing everything in cvs's okay again it's it's crazy i've never seen anything like this i've never seen anything like this but again if you if you listen to the mainstream local media crime is down crime is down it's frustrating for sure um i mean it, it was nice to have like a convenience store that was actually convenient but it, they can't keep anything in stock just because it gets stolen off the shelves and if you're looking for laundry detergent you won't find it at cvs but you will find it at this street vendor right outside out in the open how much for the uh the game uh, 10 bucks is it cash only i'll take cash out okay no card Okay, got it. Where does it come now again, where do you think this guy got it from? Let's keep it 100. Where do you think this guy got it from? I'm just saying, just just take your best guess. Where did he get this from? Come from? Uh, where does it come from? Oh, uh, it's a farmer's market up in the road. We sell a lot of like packaging products. So. The farmer's market? Okay. Well, not farmer's flea market. A flea market. Okay, gotcha. A flea market, right? Where do you think the flea market got it from? Flea market, right? Again, it's amazing. There's a whole organized criminal operation behind this, right? This is the type of redistribution that the communists want, right? Steal from legitimate businesses, okay? And then have those goods be sold to so-called flea markets at a discount. And then the flea market sell it to other people that want to then resell the stuff back to people in the neighborhoods that were robbed out of business. <laughs> again, it's actually pretty genius, okay? It's actually genius if you think about it. But again, that that is what's happening here, right? That's what's happening. This is the exact type of redistribution that communists dream of, okay? So this is a serious issue across the district and really across the country. I did reach out to Safeway tonight. So far, no response from them. I also reached out to Ward 1 Congress, excuse me, Councilwoman uh, Brianne Nadeau. I emailed her several times, called her several times today. She has not responded. We did just hear back from Metropolitan Police who tell us they take this sort of thing seriously. Is that, and if that anyone wants to report a threat, you should contact police. Angie, Jim, back to you. All right. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that, right? Crime is down, according to the mainstream liberal media, okay? It's a right-wing talking point. You don't understand. It is a uh, MAGA conspiracy <laughs> that these liberal cities are crime-filled and that they're becoming disasters, right? Again, this is uh, what the mainstream liberal media is saying, but when you actually pay attention to what's going on on the ground, you can see that it's not a conspiracy, okay? That this is the reality of what's happening in this country, and again, just watch out uh, for the psyop from the mainstream liberal media pretending that crime is down and this stuff is not happening, even though it is. Because again, you know, they want to try to uh, finagle things in the direction of the Democrat Party come 2024. Because again, this is how bad things have gotten for them. They need the mainstream liberal media to run these psyops to uh, try to pretend that water is not wet, right? Again, it's just amazing how that works. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.